hello guys and welcome back to another video so now we're going to be testing the rtx 8000 video cards compared with the previous rtx 3090 that we tested already this is a very interesting test because we're going to have two different architectures like the rtx 8000 was last gen um, gpus from nvidia and then in that quarter gpus and then we're going to have the 3090 which is the top of the line uh, geforce with the new amper architecture for that, we're gonna be running the same test. So we're gonna open Blender, the same version 2.91. And then we're gonna be running the barber shop. Uh, we're gonna be running the classroom um, demo from uh, Blender. So we're gonna render that with one GPU, four GPUs, two GPUs, and with eight GPUs. So we can compare the performance with uh, the RTX 8000 against the 3090. So we got eight 8,000 RTX 8,000 GPUs and they're not water cooled. So as you can see here, um, they are all of them and let me show you the, so we can see we have, this is a 64 core uh, Xeon, so plenty of uh, CPU power, but we don't wanna use that right now. And then the memory we have up to 126. Okay, so for the test, let's run, let's jump into a test. Okay, so now we have the classroom open. It's the same uh, model that we downloaded last time. And we're gonna select between the CPU, we're gonna go to the GPU, and we're gonna confirm that we have the, the GPUs, that we have the GPUs available for rendering. So we're gonna go to preference, and here on settings, system, we're gonna go to CUDA, and we're gonna select eight GPUs at the same time. So we're gonna start with the test with one GPU for now, and we're gonna move to two, four, and then finally eight GPUs. So let's start with one GPU, we're gonna monitor at the same time the performance of the GPUs. As you can see here, uh, the GPU is rendering the image right now, and we're using the first GPU while getting uh, almost two gigs of memory being used right now out of the 48, and then we are maxing out almost the, all the, the wattage on the GPU. Now, important to know is that uh, the main difference between these GPUs, so for example, the 3090 is 24 gigs, and the RTX 8000 it can go up to 48. Depending on the scene that you're working on, you will need more memory, but uh, for most customers, 24 gigs is more than enough. And if you need more, you just need to add more GPUs. Or in some cases, if you want to go really extreme and you need that amount of memory, then of course you can. You have the option of the RTX 8000. Just a comparison in price here, we're talking about the RTX 8000, it sells for $5,500, and the RTX 3090, you can find it for $1,800. So that's uh, a big difference in price. So we're gonna see the performance between them. Okay, so we are done. And as you can see here on the top left corner, we got two minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, so we got two minutes and 56 seconds um, running on one RTX 8000. Now we're gonna run on two GPUs and we're gonna see if we're gonna have half of the time that we got with two um, with one GPU. Okay, so we're gonna close this. So just to show you now that two GPUs are being utilized, we we'll open Nvidia Semi again. As you can see here, we got now GPU one uh, and GPU two being utilized. So the test is finished now. The render is finished. As you can see now, we got one minute and twenty nine seconds. So basically, almost a half of the time. Um, that we get with one GPU. So if we include, that tells us that it's parallel computing is pretty good. We have one GPU and if we want to cut our render times in half, then we adding another GPU, it will decrease the render time by twice, okay? So we're gonna do now, um, so we're gonna run it now with four GPUs because this is another kind of system that we sell. And then we're gonna do it with a massive AGPU RTX 8000. Okay, this should be pretty fast now. So you can see there it's going very fast. And uh, again, on the NVIDIA semis, you can see here we got now four GPUs being utilized. So one, two, three, and four being used. Let's see how long it's gonna take now. And like I explained my other in my other videos, uh, this performance that you see on Blender, I know some of you wanna see the benchmark for V-Ray or if you use different um, engines, uh, at the end, it's gonna work the same. So if the engine is optimized to use GPU compute, it's gonna perform similar to what you see in here. So now we got the time and we rendered the image in 46 
uh, seconds. So the final test will be running on a GPU to see the, the final uh, performance. So we're going to click again and edit, and a preference, and I'm going to select now the a GPUs. I'm going to close that, and then let's render one more time. All right, it's going pretty fast. So now you can see here all the GPUs being used, all of them, and that will finish pretty quick. Okay. All right, there we go. So we finished the image. We rendered the image in 25 seconds. Um, now, like I said before, this is an entertainment video. This is a streaming kind of kind of a streaming video. So I want to show you how the machine that we have, the physical machine working on the system, that we, you can see the GPUs uh, being utilized. But at the end of the video now, you can see the chart where we're going to have all the comparisons. So you can see the 3090 against the uh, RTX 8000. And sooner, we're going to be doing as well uh, the RTX 2080 Ti. So you can have an idea how these new GPUs are comparing with the old generation, uh, even the top of the line RTX 8000. And if the Quadro makes sense for you, or it's better go with the GeForce, and you can take your own conclusions um, after seeing these videos. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.